Hey everybody, it's Annabelle from Doll Belly Knits and I'm going to share with you one of my failures. That's right, failures in solar dyeing. Um, but at first I'm going to show you the setup. Um, I used a skein of wool that I purchased from Nomad. It is a superwash merino wool. Um, it's their snow drift uh, variety. Um, and I attempted to dye it using avocado skins and pits, which um, because of the properties of avocados, um, their skins and their pits, you do not have to pre-mordant the yarn. So I decided to go with this process first, uh, figuring it would be easiest. I was also highly inspired to try solar dyeing by Christopher from Cabin Boy Knits. And I live in North Carolina now, so I figured why not attempt to use the very, very hot sun to help me out. So this is what I did setup wise.
so it's been a while what? Look at that. it's been a minute um, and I just wanted to hop on so I could show you a little bit about um, the solar dyeing that I'm doing um, obviously this is a process that I should have taken advantage of uh, earlier in the summer when it was um, hotter although still getting pretty warm and um, but more daylight like I've noticed since I'm really paying attention to the Sun and where it's um, where it's at on the property I feel like we are getting less sunlight now that the arc of the Sun is different so um, anyway I think this is day two or three I'm not sure and I keep moving the tub around to maximize um, the Sun and the heat um, so I'm gonna go grab the bucket and show it to you and then show you where I'm going to put it for um, a portion of the day. I'm coming around to the front of the house which is where the sun hits um, pretty much for beyond uh, look, it's the chickens in the tractor they want me to let them out. Um, the sun hits the front of the house pretty much for the most of the day from noon on maybe a little bit later. Anyway Here's the jug. Um, I don't know if much is happening color-wise. It's maybe getting a little bit darker at this point in time. More yellow than it was. Although it was kind of off-white to start with. So, um, but yeah, so I brought it around here and had put it on the steps and let it sit for most of the day that way. Um, and I've got another place to put it from like 10 to 3. <laughs> so this is, I can't tell because of the reflection of the trees off the car, but yeah, this is pretty much where I've decided I'm going to put it um, between about 10 and 3. The, let me turn the camera around if I can. I don't know that I can do that. Yeah, so the sun pops up over the trees in the back, and it seems to have shifted um, from sides of the house, so it hits the driveway a lot more. Um, and my minivan's there, and I know it sure is going to get hecka warm inside, um, in addition to being exposed to the sun. I'm trying to find my dog. Here she is. Um, so, yeah, I decided I would do that, and this is all just an experiment, so... We'll see what happens, and um, I'll keep you guys informed. Hope you have a great day. So I'm sitting outside, and it's a really, really nice day here in North Carolina. Um, this is the kind of weather that I could live with all year long. But I don't necessarily think it's great weather in terms of what's good for the solar dyeing project that I have going on. Today is day 13 um, and I just finished moving the bucket and taking a look at it and um, I can see that there is some color uh, on the wool. It's not as white as it was when I um, purchased it and first put it in the bucket. However, I realized something the other day. Um, if you're going to save your avocado skins for dyeing, you want to wash them off, you know, wash as much of the avocado meat off of the pit and off of the skins before you go ahead and put them in the freezer. So I had had an avocado that I was going to save and I just chucked it in my soap water and my dishpan and my sink. And, uh, you know, I would get back to it later was my idea. And then when I did go back to it, I noticed that the skin was already lighter, like, like a different color. So I'm kind of thinking that because I had washed them up, because um, that's what I did with the other pits as well, that maybe I already kind of extracted some of the dye from the avocado. Um, 
peels because it's hot soapy water. I mean, like, that's the whole point. You put it in hot water and it extracts the dye from whatever it is, whether it's, you know, avocado skins or onion skins or whatever. It's the heat that extracts uh, the color that you're going to get from the plant. So I kind of feel like I didn't, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I mean, like, I, they need to be cleaned off, but maybe not in such hot soapy water. And I'm kind of feeling like I put a used tea bag <laughs> in my tea cup there. Um, so I don't know if this wool is going to get any darker than it already is because we're hitting like the two week mark and it's getting cooler so I can't count on the um, heat to continue to extract color from the avocado skins. Um, so I think maybe sometime this week, tomorrow's Labor Day, sometime this week I'm going to pull the wool out of the water and wash it off and see what's what and if I like it I like it if I don't perhaps I can over dye it you know dye it again with something else maybe try an actual like fresh avocado skin and I'll just wipe out the inside with a wet paper towel instead of putting it in the hot soapy water believe I have just confirmed my theory that by putting the avocado peels and the um, pit in water to soak to make sure all the avocado um, flush was off the peels and the pit that I inadvertently sucked whatever dye was in the peels and the pit out before I actually used it to dye. <clears throat> so I had, um, after my failed uh, dyeing experiment um, with the solar dyeing. I threw away the rest of the avocado peels and pits that I had in the freezer, so I want to start collecting them again as we're getting into solar dyeing time. Um, so I chucked them in just a bucket of cold water because before I had put them in the actual hot soapy dish water. Um, I don't know why this didn't occur to me. <laughs> but anyway, look at what happened in just like, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe in cold water. I mean, like, obviously there's avocado flesh, but look, the water's already turned, um, you know, brownish pink. So for sure, um, 
I guess you just need to right away rinse off the peels, maybe use a damp paper towel to make sure you wipe the rest of the stuff out and then put them in the freezer. But don't soak them, don't put them in hot water, don't do anything. <laughs> don't do what I did. <laughs>